Hey bitches, <laughs> we're off to work out because my fat ass needs to be hot by next summer. If I ain't hot by next summer, I swear to God, I'm gonna like slit my own throat. <sighs> Ooh, fancy. <laughs> Bringing my Louis Vuitton gym bag again, how extra. expensive now at this location um yeah that's kind of unfortunate actually so. <sighs> it is what it is so we're just gonna go look at everything hey guys miss philly here we're just coming from value village by Pole Park. I ran into two people. I ran into Eileen and Mary, Marybeth. 
Maribel. Maribeth, I think. <laughs> it was nice meeting you guys. Sorry if I seemed a little bit off. I just came from my French lesson. So my mind's still kind of like, ugh, conjugating, masturbating, combobulating. I, I don't know what you do with these French words. It's like so freaking hard. My mind is like, when, I, when I'm done my French lesson, I feel so freaking like out of it. Like, like seriously, like my mind's been like boggled. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it was so nice meeting you guys. Oh, they said they watched my video. They say they watch my videos every morning and all the time. I told them I felt like it was getting kind of like boring and repetitive, but they're like, no, keep it up. And I was like, okay, I will. <laughs> but yeah, it was so nice meeting you guys. I appreciate your your support and watching. Um, it's, so, it's so nice when I meet people. Um, yeah, I hope you guys found something. If you did, let me know. But I probably dug through there first and yeah, there's nothing. There was nothing. But yeah, we're going to go over to Polo Park, see if they have anything. If they do... I hope they do. Oh my god, we only have like an hour left, so we better go now. Bye. I've been kind of like struggling with what to eat. Like, oh, after the gym last night, I basically ate like a burger. Well, a who am I gonna? I ain't gonna front with you. I had two, a double burger, a double cheeseburger. No, I can't just have a single burger. I had to, I had to have a double burger. Ugh stupid tasty burgers but I did have a salad and a diet Pepsi not that that helps probably counteract shit but <laughs> that's what we ate yesterday from Wendy's actually right over there Wendy's I just can't stop eating my mouth just needs to be full all the time it needs to be filled with product and items I really need to step it up a notch when it comes to working out because summer is like six months away like hello six months flies by quickly I ain't gonna spend another freaking summer being a fat bitch. I've lived my life, my whole life being one of a big bone sister. It's time for me to experience skinny laugh, okay? At least before I turn 40. Yeah, sales have been pretty good. It's just, I don't know. Like, lately, lately, as of late, I've experienced a lot of repeat listings. So like these items, like bags primarily, I've listed them multiple, multiple, multiple times and they just did not sell. So. I mean, it took literally like the fourth, a fifth, a sixth time before it sold. So don't be too, don't be too harsh on yourself or don't be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Don't be, don't be discouraged. That's the word. Don't be discouraged so I realize. Sorry, that song just came into my mind. Don't be discouraged when you're listing something and it doesn't sell because I've experienced a lot lately, especially like this week, where it's an item I had listed minimum four times, the fifth time it's sold or the sixth time it's sold. So, because the thing is when you list something, you know, and these are short auctions I'm talking about or sales, sometimes, you know, someone doesn't see it because maybe they're on vacation in Aruba or in Havana or something, you know? So maybe they're not around to see it and that person comes back from vacation and they see your list and they want it and they buy it, you know? It's all chance. It's all, you know, proper timing. Literally that Dooney and Burke bag, I listed that I think like six hey guys, times. Another update that just sold, this Dooney and Burke giraffe print bag. Oh my goodness, I posted this online about three or four times, it just would not sell. I paid $18 after because I purchased this for 50% off of 30. Um, the last time Valley Village had their 50% off sale, which was like summer. So I've been holding on to this forever. Posted it four times, would not sell. Finally, November was a month of it selling. I posted it for 30, it sold for 35. So there were two people who were trying to, trying to uh, win the auction for this one. Just glad to see it go because I've held on to this forever. I need to put it as sold on my Depop because on my Depop, I think I listed it for 25. So. Um, I made an $18 profit on this bag. Okay, so I'm slightly disappointed. Well, actually, no, I'm really disappointed. <laughs> because this bag, this one, and this is a Poppy collection, way better than the other tote that I had. This one sold for only $52, which means my profit on it is $1.15. That's kind of like the point that I was making in my last video, how sometimes um, the $70 to $100 profit isn't the norm like it happens but not as often and not as frequent although making only a dollar profit on an item isn't as frequent as well 
it is kind of annoying because I feel like I've done so much work listing, selling, posting, and then to make only a dollar off of it is really <laughs> kind of like a waste of time. But, you know, you it's a risk you take when you start bids at a dollar, which I did on this item. And this is like an amazing bag. Like, look at it. Like, my, honestly, I thought this would have sold for over a hundred. Like, I called it wrong. It just, it just hits all the right points when it comes to a bag that would sell high. It could be the time. Could be just after Halloween. That's why, like, I, like I've said, lots of determining factors on why something will sell, why something won't sell. And here's. A case in point on something that didn't sell for what I wanted. The Mark Jacobs bag. I listed that literally like four times. Um, what else? There's some a couple of other bags that I listed multiple times, and it just didn't sell until until this week. So sorry if I haven't done the dumpster diving video yet because I am so busy. I'm not even kidding you. Nancy is so busy. She's not even kidding you. She started a new job. Uh, so she's like dealing with that she just moved into a new house so she's dealing with that too so you know her her other job was more flexible than her new job her new job like she has a freaking office like hello businesswoman <laughs> but yeah she's a working woman okay she's like an office hoe I'm like a thrifting hoe so I have like a little bit more freedom but anyway yeah so the reason why I have not done the dumpster diving video is because she's hella busy, I'm hella busy. Like literally to get footage for vlogs is hard, like erect hard because I can't, it's not like I can thrift all the time. Like it, right now it's freaking eight o'clock. I figured I'll thrift because I'm out anyway. I had my French lesson because I have a lot of things going on in my lab, okay? Yo. I had so much footage last night from my working out session with my trainer, but ew, it was so gross. Like watching back the footage, my problem area is my stomach, okay? Like that's my main problem. Like literally all the shit I consume goes directly to my belly, okay? <laughs> my belly likes to store everything. It is so grotesque. Like, if you look like that, you're fine. But me, I'm harsh on myself. It's just, my belly gets in the way of everything. Like, I look like I'm freaking nine months pregnant. I'm not even kidding you. Like, to, like, I mean, granted, granted, it's not as bad as it used to be. Oh, my God. Before, it was, like, literally pregnancy personified. Like, literally, when I went to the doctor because I was sick, he asked me if I was pregnant. <laughs> and I was like, no, I'm not. I'm just fat. My my stomach has gone down in size. Like it before like my stomach protruded past my boobs. Now it's just like a little bit under my boobs. So I mean there is progress, but it's still like a it still deters me from doing a lot of things and I probably still have to get a seat extender on the airplane and that's like my main goal is wanting to go on an airplane seat and not having to ask for a seat extender. Like I said before, if I knew losing weight was gonna be so freaking hard, I would not have gotten fat. I would have, I mean, I can do that now, but I mean, when you've tasted McDonald's and burgers all your life, like how the hell are you supposed to just stop all of a sudden? Tell me. You can't just take away my burger. And then the sauce that comes with, oh my God, my nipples been really itchy. Do you guys ever, like, okay, I'll be honest with you guys. Like, let's, let's talk real shit here, okay? Like, I get most of my pleasure from my nipples. Like, I'm not even kidding you. That's why I kind of fear getting a blow, <laughs> a boob job because, like, I'm, I'm scared that the, the, the sensation I get from my nipples will, like, disappear. And I know that's, like, a, a risk that you take. But no, that can't happen. That can't happen. I need my nipple sensation. It's like the primary place I get pleasure, like literally. Oh, when you're like with a guy and he's just like going to work on your nipples, like holler. That's all I need. Like I literally want to hire someone to just like suck on my nipples. I'm not even kidding you. Like that might be TMI. I'll put a disclaimer TMI because I know some of you bitches are like freaking prudes and <laughs> don't like the sex talk, but I'm just keeping it real. I'm keeping it real. But yeah, that's my pleasure zone. That's my, that's my erroneous zone. My erroneous zone is my nipples. Someone asked me what Homo erectus is. Like, hello, did you not take that in science and biology? Homo erectus means like a cave woman, cave man, cave woman. <laughs> it's like 
<laughs> evolution skipped you. That's how I feel, like, literally sometimes. That was, like, a long, long stand. If you're a long-time Miss Philly follower, you know that's been a long-time joke on my channel, calling myself Monkey Girl. <laughs> I've, I've kind of uh, promoted myself from Monkey Girl to to homo erectus because it is a promotion <laughs> homo erectus is still kind of human i don't know what i want to watch tonight i don't know i didn't even finish riverdale season one but i kind of got over it i don't know and it reminds me of like guys that i was seeing and because he liked riverdale so i don't really like to watch it now because it reminds me of him and i'm i loved star season one that's that lee daniels show but I don't know. The first episode of season two, which I had been waiting forever, was kind of like just mediocre. I'll try season. I'll try episode two and see if it's any better. And what else? American Horror Story. I tried watching episode one, but I just was not feeling it. And I loved season. I didn't like. Well, I liked season one of American Horror Story. Didn't like season two. Season three was the best for me. Covenant. Was it Covenant or Coven? Coven. American Horror Story Coven. That was the best season ever. And then I watched the one after that. I watched the um, Freak Show. I watched the Hotel, which I loved it too. And then I watched the reality kind of one, the last season. I don't know. Is American Horror Story the new season any good? Let me know because I'll try and give it a chance. Narcos, I've been kind of like loving and not loving. I don't know kind of over that too but the two hot guys on the series kind of keep me keep me around masturbation material <sighs> I wish you could I wish there was just a place like a I wish there was like a, a brothel with a lot of hot guys that you can just pick out and rent for the night like why why can't that happen like some of us some of us need to pay to get laid okay we can't just do it on our own well, I guess we can do it on our own, but I mean, oh, you have to go through the whole whining and dining. Then it's like, you have to kind of cater to them, but you just want to be catered to. I just want to pay someone to cater to me. Like, why? <laughs> you know? Anyway. But yeah, I should just be a, a madam at a brothel. That's what I, that's what I should do. <laughs> Except I'd probably like get high on my supply daily and like literally overdose on day. Ugh. Okay, guys, um, we're going to go inside Value Village and see if there's anything because, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to go walk inside of Value Village and see if we find anything. And why is this car, like, stalking me? Like, no autographs, no pictures. Yeah, right. I don't know what Valentine it is, but it's $150. I just still have the Marc Jacobs here that hasn't sold at all. I don't know what that is. Dragons. So there's this bag I'm considering getting because it's like a limited edition. And after my 30%, it becomes an actual kind of decent price. Um, and it's not a factory outlet, so that's good. Oh, okay. So, yeah. We might get this. I mean, it's a little bit dry, but we can just like leather it up with a leather cleaner. And hopefully it, there's no cracking on the handle, so that's good. But I hate purple. <laughs> you guys know that. This one is kind of cute, but I don't know if I will like it 100%. Just the red and the black seems kind of, I don't know, but it's cute. Let's see inside. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Was there anything else in any of the other showcases? Um, no, that's it. Thank okay. you so much. Sure, let me know if you need anything. Oh, thank you. Okay, guys, we need to talk. Like, we really, really... Huh? Okay, we need to have a discussion. Like, a literal discussion. Okay, because I ain't even, like, fronting. Okay? They... Okay, I need to turn the camera around and talk to you guys. Okay, they literally have a Coach Factory outlet bag there for $250. Like, literally. Like, who does that? Like, it's a factory outlet bag and it's used. Why on earth would you price it at $250 when it's a factory outlet? Like, that probably retailed for $100 at the factory outlet. 
Like, you need to get your shit together because it's just atrocious. Like, no, you're not educated in your bags. Seriously, it's, it's really, it's really concerning to me. Anyway, I just need a face-to-face -face with you guys because that was kind of ridiculous. And did you see the David Jones? Like, David Jones for $150? That's ridiculous, too. Like, that's not even, like, a huge brand name and you're pricing it at that price. That's almost offensive, actually. <sighs> and then, like, they wonder why people post that kind of stuff on their, on their Facebook page. Because, like, I'm a little bit shocked at that price myself. Anyway, guys we're gonna still look around if we see anything you know what I have competition there's this lady online who is like totally my competition like I compete with like she does what I do oh Cole Han that's kind of interesting but yeah I've seen her because the, the reason I know why she's competition because she lists on the same websites that I list and it's items that I've either passed on or I've seen in store like in like literally value village so she's like totally competition. The thing is, she's doing better sales than I am, which I'm kind of a little bit like wondering what's going on with that, you know? Maybe I've built a reputation where people don't like me. I don't know. <laughs> Here's another cute tote. It's leather. It's by a company called Hillary, Hillary Radley, New York. But they were like 30 bucks for it. And the thing is, it's... I would have probably gotten it if that wasn't happening there. I hate, I hate, hate when that happens. It's so problematic. But that's just my point in case, case in point, where they're pricing things so expensively because it's just leather. <sighs> like literally. I, I, somebody had just commented, hold on, I'm gonna turn the camera around. Somebody had just commented whether I feel like I'm giving away too much info and secrets and that the thrift stores are kind of watching my videos and pricing things based on that. And to answer you and how I feel today, I kind of agree with that. I don't know. I, I mean, it, it is my content for YouTube, but I mean, you know, if I don't share with you guys and how am I going to put out content? So it's kind of like a double edged sword, you know, it's like you, you want to put out content, but then it kind of ruins your game. Like it ruins your hustle. So what you gonna do? Oh, there's Tom's. These are kind of, well, they're a little bit worn, but Tom's, size 10. Anyway, okay, I'm trying to bend down. Um, okay, we're gonna get this Cole Haan. <laughs> we're gonna get this Cole Haan, like a long wallet. Um, there's some, some scuffing, but I mean, it's really cute. It's only like five bucks. And yeah, it's just kind of like a, kind of like a clutch-ish thing. I don't know, should we get it? Cole Haan, leather? I don't know. We'll see. But I was going to get this bag. God, my hair is annoying me. This bag from Coach. It's kind of overpriced for 90 bucks, but 30% off, I'll pay $68. But, you know, it's such a great bag. I hate the color purple, you know that, but it's one of those limited edition bags. You can tell from the inside right there. But it's a little bit dry too in certain places, which is fixable with leather conditioner. But I was looking closely and like, it is so minimal, but like this area right here, there's like, I don't know if you can see it. Like where it, right there, like where the threading, where it's reinforced there with the glazing, the glazing is like starting to crack ever so slightly, just really, really small, but that eventually becomes problematic and it's not something I wanna deal with with this bag, especially for that price point, you know, of $90, well, $68. But otherwise, it's cute. So I don't know. I think it's a fail today again. <laughs> nice things, but overpriced things. I'm gonna put this back. So I decided not to get the bag or the Cole Haan clutch just because, I don't know, just because it's, just because it's overpriced. And the clutch, why do I need a clutch? I don't need a clutch. And reselling wise, I don't know if it's gonna resell. So we're leaving that shit behind. Probably another fail day, fail day here. Um, 
at Value Village. <sighs> now I'm a bitchy bitch. I'm a bitchy bitch now. There's a kind of look I have now from now on. Until I leave the until I leave the store, that's how I'm gonna look. <laughs> we'll still look around, but um, yeah. I'm not hopeful at all. Okay guys, there's absolutely nothing here today. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna post this vlog or if I'm gonna combine tomorrow's vlog, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, nothing here, nothing at Jefferson. I don't have time to go any other thrift stores because they're all closing now. So, ugh, so annoyed. Okay, so I want to talk a little bit about that freaking coach bag priced at 250 freaking dollars. Like, come on, Value Village. You need to get your shit together. Educate your pricing staff. It doesn't take that long. You'll freaking call Google, okay? Ugh. $250? You, it's a factory outlet bag. It is like downright offensive. Like, uh, uh, that's all I have to say about that. Like, I literally, I saw the price tag of $250. I wasn't, I wasn't sure what the brand was yet. I was thinking maybe it might be Michael Kors. Maybe it might be Marc Jacobs. No, it was factory outlet coach, which is like the worst of the worst. I'm sitting here in the parking lot shaking my head like and you wonder why people go on to and I always defend Value Village usually on their on their social media you know even Plato's Closet I defend them sometimes on social media but if you go act the fool like this and post a factory outlet bag that probably cost a hundred dollars at the factory outlet then I mean you kind of have it coming to you to you okay <laughs> I can't be your knight in shining armor queen defending you on social media if you're going to do pull some crazy shit like this oh lord have mercy lord have mercy i'm like flabbergasted well i'm just i'm just shaking my head because it's like redonkulous i love your value village but sometimes like a man you act a trifling fool and you need to be put back into your place because no you can't be doing that it's, it's not it's no okay i purchased a bag here i'm not going to say which location well i'll tell you this location but i returned it to a different location and even like one of the managers looked at it and she's like what the f you know hundred hundred fifty dollars for this and she's like we never and i know like the other location i go i go to never price their shit like this they don't like literally the only place that, that you can actually probably get a deal when it comes to Value Village in my city is probably the Regent location, the Jefferson location, um, and that's it. Polo Park skyrocketed their prices. Pembina has always skyrocketed their prices from the get-go. Like before, it was literally just Pembina that had super overpriced things for their, for their shit, you know? Like the freaking mat in that bag for what was it, $120, $90, whatever it was, and they lowered it. They they took the price tag off after it. Like really? Really. I was like holding on to everything, not just laugh and shout in there. <laughs> Cause like I was like being so nice, like to the lady. Cause you know, it wasn't the girl who was showing me the bag's fault. It's the pricer's fault. Like, how do you go? Like he's like, okay, coach, okay, leather, okay, two fifty. And then they had another coach bag, the one that you guys saw. That one was a factory boutique bag, and they priced that eight nine nine nine. Like how 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 where, where do you get these numbers from? Do you like pull it out of your ass? I don't understand. Now I'm hungry, and now, now I'm like frustrated, and I need to eat something unhealthy now. Make myself feel better. But no, seriously, I might get a little ghetto, but seriously, Value Village, calm yourself. I can't. I, I, I can't even. Wait, hunty. Not yet. Okay, to end this vlog, I just want to say a couple more things, okay? Sorry that the vlog sucked ass today. Secondly, you know what pisses me off? I have actually two things to talk about before we go. Number one is when you, when you come to a stop sign, and then there's, you know, there's people at the stop sign, and they stop first before you do. And then they ask you to go. Like, hello, did you not take driver's ed? You stop first means you go first. It doesn't mean you put on your high beams and ask me to go first. Like, it's common sense. Secondly, secondly, the other thing that I wanted to ask was, it's, I guess, Miss Philly's question of the day. Do you guys tip, okay, if you, may, if you order food, do you guys tip 
like when you pick up the food or do you just like pay regularly I, I don't know how that works because sometimes I get the feeling like when I'm picking up for food that I ordered um, they get kind of like when they see the receipt and you don't tip they're kind of like bitchy but the thing is like I feel like they're not doing anything they made the order the cook made the order like granted okay you prepared it maybe but like I don't know I don't think that you should tip when it comes to picking up your food but that's just me anyway let me let me know in the comments what you guys think anyway guys bye end of the vlog see you tomorrow now it's bye hunty